Hey Facebook friends, it's Christy here. I just realized that I've never made a video this late before because the sun is like, oh, hello. So I'm gonna try and keep it blocked so everybody can see me. Um, I just came back from an amazing, inspiring weekend and I was flying back and I just had this thought that I wanted to share with all of you. So um, have you ever taken a flight? Um, it doesn't matter if you've taken a hundred or if you've taken one. Um, you've heard this and in case you're somebody who has never flown I want to explain so on an airplane the flight attendant always says um, you know in case of an in-flight emergency uh, and loss of oxygen pressure an oxygen mask is going to drop down from the overhead compartment and you are to place the mask over your face first secure it in place and then help others around you and as I was listening to this and I was hearing this you know, it makes total sense because you're a lot more valuable if you're alert and you're conscious and you know, you're functioning. So that's why you put the mask on yourself first. And this made me think of something, you know, when you really think about it, this oxygen mask scenario actually does apply in your everyday life and not just in emergencies. You know, on a daily basis, we're applying our own oxygen mask. You know, we want to perform at our best. We want to be the best versions of ourselves in our job, in our businesses, you know, with our kids, spiritually, physically, emotionally, and intellectually. You know, we want to put that best foot forward, but if we aren't giving ourselves that shot of oxygen that gets us functioning at our best, it's having a direct impact on your life. You know, how many of you are sick and tired all of the time? You know, that's impacting your life in some way. Think about it from a leadership perspective. You know, who you look up to. Who looks up to a tired leader? Who, you know, think about those people that you love to be around, that you love to learn from, that inspire you. They're feeding themselves in some way. They're doing personal development, they're reading books, and then they're paying it forward by teaching others. So taking that time to grow and learn and then become excited and inspired and learn those new aspects of your life or your business or parenting or whatever it is and then paying it forward. So I wanted to pay something for This is my newest shot of oxygen that I wanted to share with all of you. So this past weekend, um, I connected with somebody who really explained the power of visualizations. And so I wanted to share it with all of you um, and maybe, oh, see, yeah, sorry, as, as your shot of oxygen for the day that you could do for yourself. So what are visualizations? So visualizations are not like a, a dream board or a long-term goal. It's actually breaking down your day and visualizing what your perfect day is going to be. And so you start by, this is going to be my little oxygen mask. So like, first of all, you state the time that you're going to wake up and what your first thought for the day is going to be. Putting that best foot forward, saying, you know, today is going to be a great day. Um, I will be happy today. I'm going to do the following things and then I'm going to get out of bed and I'm going to stretch and I am going to embrace that day and by vi by visualizing what we want to happen starting the day off right and then planning and plotting out your day and actually seeing it and then it makes it more attainable but you have to leave it in small segment segments that are manageable and they're realistic. You know, for me, I'm not a morning person. I am never gonna say I'm going to wake up at 4 a.m. and then I'm going to go for a 10 mile run because that's not gonna happen and then I'm gonna be upset with myself that I didn't let it happen. So I'm setting a time that's realistic and I'm setting that first thought of the day, it's going to be a positive, great day and then I'm going to plot out the other things that I need to do that day to make it a great day. I'm going to visualize it, I'm gonna see it and then I'm gonna make it happen and I just wanted to share that with all of you. I'm going to be coming back and sharing more about how it's going for me and how the visualizations are working, but I wanted to share it with you today because this is my oxygen mask for the day. So I hope you all enjoyed. Please feel free to like, comment, or share as always, and I look forward to seeing you all soon. And if you're somebody who uses visualizations, please feel free to reach out and you know let me know what you're visualizing or what you're thinking or what you're picturing for your life and how you're making those things happen because I absolutely love to hear how others are doing and making their dreams come true. Have a good one.